Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with another um, layout for the Pinkfresh Studio Design Team. And I am still working with the Home for the, Ho Home for the Holidays collection. And my second layout is with another cut file. And this is a gorgeous um, holiday wreath cut file. And I only backed um, the open leaves with some green pattern papers and uh, I also grabbed some of the new mini cubes or the ink cubes uh, for my background uh, colors and uh, I'm just stamping the ink onto a piece of plastic adding some water and going crazy with splatters I just wanted to have uh, some soft colors peeking out from behind and this is a very traditional Christmas layout for me it's tons of green and red and I am not that green person and not in the combination with red um, but I was in the mood for a real Christmas layout and I really like how this is looking or how it turned out. I am scrapping a picture from some new cute Christmas gnomes. I um, have a thing for gnomes right now or at the moment and I just um, love them they are so cute <laughs> so still going strong with splattering i also added some of the liquid watercolors the pink bubblegum and i just created two or three um, different red shades and i i really like how the splatters are turning out or how they are looking i'm sorry so then i will place the wreath back on to the um white cardstock and uh, now i'm just um starting to um have a look into all of the bits and pieces i added a few layers of tissue paper behind that picture and also a piece of that um coral reddish pattern paper <clears throat> Uh, now I'm looking into the ephemera pieces and the die cuts and um, I grabbed a few things but in the end I will not um, I will I will use some um, I lost it so uh, I did some fussy cutting on some uh, green leaves on one of the pattern papers and um, I am just looking for some um, tiny bits I don't want it to go too crazy on that um, layout and so I'm just having a look into all of the pieces from uh, the home for the holidays collection and here you can see I added some stitching or I stitched down the wreath onto that paper um, and now I'm adding some 3D squares behind um, the leaves for some shadow and for some uh, dimension. And you can see the light green leaves um, on the right side. These are the leaves I fussy cut from a pattern paper and I just love the different green tones here. Um, um, I am just... I think, oh yeah, I lost my tiny attacher and so I run uh, to the sewing machine to get the tissue paper and the paper and the pattern paper together. I just stitched them together and um, yeah, now I'm adding some foam tape and I will start to complete that layout now. Um, I am, um, you can see there are some open berries on that wreath and I will create some red circles um, but I think I did that off camera. First I was thinking about some go golden glitter pearls or some, I don't know, but I, um, I decided to go with red and I love how this is looking and you will see that on the final pictures at the end. Um... Yeah, now I'm grabbing tons of um, 3D squares and I'm just gluing everything down and I totally love how this is coming together. Um, yeah, my title is... Um, I have added um, a layer at sticker with jingle bells but also the word Noel, Noel or underneath the picture and um, yeah now I'm just looking into the puffy stickers into the mixed embellishments into the um, cardstock stickers into everything uh, just because I needed something to place on that um, upper right corner to complete that 
area from the wreath. Um, there's an open space and I will add um, some epoxy stickers and I believe some puffy stickers. Uh, but I will also punch out some hearts from red, uh, from the same reddish pattern paper I placed behind that picture so that I will just have uh, some more red pieces going on. And here I'm uh, looking into the um, mixed embellishments. I believe there are some uh, wood buttons and some epoxy stickers and I'm just scattering them around. And um, these are the, the stars I'm placing uh, onto the page right now. They are from the um, pack with the snow globes. These are the little um, embellishments to fill the snow globes. But um, I will also punch out some more. Yeah, here you can see uh, that I added one of the puffy stickers right there. I love the touch of the dark green color um, next to the dark green epoxy sticker. And I just, yeah, I totally love how this is coming together. Um, and I, I think I am uh, nearly done. I'm just... Um, having a mess on my desk so I need to look into all of the things and uh, yeah here I'm starting to uh, punch out some stars and I have two th uh, sizes of the um, punch and so um, oh yeah and I'm also uh, looking for some different red shades on some of the pattern papers there's that uh, paper with the squares and with the presents and so I'm just looking for different red tones <clears throat> Um, I will also place um, the same red pattern paper behind that cardstock. I will just um, cut off uh, some wonky edges um, and will ruffle them up and distress them. And then I will just uh, place it behind the picture, uh, the layout, I'm sorry, the layout. And uh, yeah, but you will see that uh, in a second. And now I'm just scattering some more circles here. I am placing uh, tons of animal dots around everything. Um, some golden ones, some red ones, and I believe, no, not more. So um, yeah, that's it. Thank you uh, for stopping by and for watching and I wish you all a great day. I will now just cut off um, the edges but you will see that and so yeah thank you and bye